Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. Nah, I don't... Hey, Lenny, could you check the files for a police report? A girl who drowned around here? Lily Myers? I'd love to help, Kathy, but you better check with the sh- Fine, I'll- What's your opinion on Charles Wade? He's okay in my book. Invested a lot in the local community over the years. He's been a prominent figure in town for as long as I can remember. Nah, I don't- Nah, I don't- Well, gotta- See ya! Hello, Sheriff. I don't need to ask. Do you know anything about a drowning here in 1975? Young girl named Lily Myers? That case was handled by Truman. I wasn't involved. Could I have a look at that report? Do you have a memory problem? Ugh, fine. What's your opinion on Charles Wade? <laughs> There's a lot of people in town with their noses up that man's ass, that's for sure. That so? Care to elaborate? Just another rich bastard doing what he does. They even renamed Main Street to Wade Street a few months back. What a goddamn joke. That's all for now. Good. different type of key than the one I used before. No. McConnell Air Force Base, how can I help you? Hi, I was just... Sure thing. Do you recognize- Afraid not, ma'am. This isn't- Oh. And he's- The only- The bill- He- I'm trying- I'm sorry. He- Is there- Okay. I do have official business. I'm Deputy Reagan. I'm calling from Conwell Springs Sheriff's Department. Hmm. I can see that you're actually calling from the station. You say you're a cop? You don't sound like a cop. Contacting Mr. Wade is crucial to an ongoing investigation. I can't divulge any details at this time, but I'm going to need that number right away. I don't believe you. Crap. McConnell, Hi. Sure thing. I'm trying. I'm sorry. Yeah. Is there any? Okay. I. Hmm. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It's just because I'm a woman, right? Women don't belong in law enforcement? Now that's hardly what- Do you have any idea what I have to go through every day? Nobody takes me seriously. The dirty looks, the sexual innuendos, I've- Relax, okay? I'll check the files. It's 555-7641. Thanks, buddy. Hi, this is Kathy Rain. I'm calling for Charles Wade. He doesn't live here anymore. What's this about? What do you want with my father? I'd just like to have a quick word with Mr. Wade. It's about my grandfather, Joseph Rain. You're 20 years late, girl. My father has neither time nor energy to deal with you people. 
ไปstill up. I was wondering when you'd show up. How did it go? Long story. I found out about some stuff that happened when I was a kid. Wow. What a mystery. So what's the plan now? I don't know yet, but I'll figure something out. What about this Charles Wade? You still haven't talked to him? And that strange, bright picture you showed me? Those tapes? Listen, I know this guy. Eileen, relax. We can talk about it tomorrow, okay? Oh, it's way too late now. Oh, I couldn't possibly sleep now. I'm way too excited. Well, that makes one of us, Nighty. <sighs> Good night, Cat. Hey, Kathy! Wake up! Ugh! You are so lucky there are no sharp objects near this bed. Guess what? I got an idea. Please tell me it involves you taking a sabbatical. Haha! <laughs> so you found all this evidence, right? Pictures, tapes, and stuff. I guess. Why? Well, as you know, I have a computer, and I know this hacker guy, Dave, and. Oh, never mind. I'll just write you a note. You go back to sleep. Seriously, Eileen. Sometimes I just marvel at how your brain works. I know, right? Are you sure you want to do this, Catherine? You still have time. If you think there's any chance, you would change your mind. I'm sure, Doctor. Just get it out of me. But please, don't tell my mom. I'm sorry, but we have to do that. It's the law. It's none of her business. It's my choice to make. I have enough shit going on with her already. This would just add fuel to the fire. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. Fine. Let's just get this over with then. Right this way. Ugh, I hate that dream. <sighs> I guess Eileen went to class. I probably should too. Nah. It's some advanced scanner thingy. Oh, what's this? Hi, cat. Feel free to use my computer while I'm away. My password is Angel Love without the quotes. If you call my friend Dave at five 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 two four nine two, he can set you up with some software. I'll be back in a few hours. Super psyched about the investigation. E. P.S. No gum on the keyboard, please. Remember the last time? Oh, please. Like she actually uses a spacebar. Shit. Looks like she forgot to write down the username. Oh well, shouldn't be too hard to guess. I think it's just some combination of her first and last name.
Not now. Hey, I'm Kathy. Eileen said to call you about some software. Ellie who? Eileen. Red hair, glasses, speaks so fast her gums ache. Oh, right. I thought her name was Errol. Figured it was kind of a weird name for a girl. You must have a hearing disorder. You must have a thinking disorder. Ha 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 ha, burn! Wow. Just wow. So, uh, the software? Oh, yeah. No, can't. Not really. Ugh, I knew she was full of shit. Nah, I mean, sure, I used to be able to get pirated software, but not anymore. There was this misunderstanding and my network privileges were revoked. Me and Clyde, the campus IT guy, don't really see eye to eye. We used to play bocce together and let's just say he is one sore loser. Can't you just patch things up with the guy? No way. He's such an ass. He even thinks TNG is better than the original series. He thinks the what is better than the what? I know, right? Can you believe that guy? Can't you just hack your way back in somehow? Isn't that what you do? He blocked the ethernet port in my room. I don't even have physical access. Don't you ever leave your room? Use a computer in the library or something. Aren't they connected to the network? No, there are cameras in there. Clyde is just waiting for me to make a move so he can get me expelled. You call yourself a hacker? Just use your brain for Christ's sake. Let's figure this out. Wow, you're so sassy, Nancy Drew. Well, okay, only an admin account can change the access port. The only way to even theoretically crack one would be if Clyde logged on to a machine to which we have unrestricted physical access. And... Oh, I got an idea. I'm not gonna like this. Well, what you could do is intentionally crash your PC. That sounds especially stupid. Well, not crash it, crash it. Just crash it a little, then call Clyde. Clyde will come over to fix it. If you're lucky, then he'll log on to the network using his admin account. Afterwards, you can use some of my tools to find and crack the password locally. Worth a shot, I guess. Okay, you can come over and set it up. No way. I have severe IBS. It just wouldn't work. IBS? What the hell is that? Uh, you seriously don't want to know. I'll have my buddy drop off everything you need. It's not rocket science. You do what I ask, and I'll get you some juicy software. Quid pro quo, Clary. Whatever, weirdo. We'll see. There was a floppy disk in there with a note taped to the back. It's labeled boot. One, boot your computer using the blue floppy. Two, use the corrupt MBR utility to crash the file system of the computer. Take the floppy out and reboot. Three, call Clyde at 555-8181, tell him your computer crashed and give him the error code on the screen. He'll come over and have a look shouldn't take too long for him to fix. Four, now comes the crucial part. You need to somehow make him log on with his admin account. Five, reboot and retrieve the admin credentials using the blue floppy. Six, reboot and log on using Clyde's admin account. Seven, look for some kind of tool to remotely open my ethernet port. Dorm B, room eight. 
That's it. And remember, if you mess up somewhere, just call Clyde and he'll have to take care of it. It's his job after all. One, two, use the three. Call Clyde at five, five, four. Now comes the crucial part. You need to five, reboot and retrieve the admin credentials using six. Reboot and log seven. Look for some kind of tool to remotely open my e That's it. And rem All right, time for some expert help. IT, this is Clyde speaking. How can I help you? Hi, I need you to come and fix my roommate's computer. What seems to be the problem? It won't start up. There's some kind of system failure with an error code on the screen. Probably a hard drive failure. Which room are you in? Dorm A, room 5. I'll be there in a few minutes. Thanks. Hey, Clyde from IT. Hi, come in. My, now how did this happen? I have no idea. It was like this when I started it up this morning. Hmm, let's have a look. And presto, good as new. That's perfect. Could, could you try logging on real quick just to make sure it works? You go ahead, I'll wait. Now look what I did. For crying out loud. <sighs> Let me try to log in with my account. Okay, everything seems to be in order. I've unlocked your account. Please, try not to break anything else. Oh, I'll try. Phase one, complete. One, two, three, four. Now cut five. Reboot and reach six. Reboot and log on using seven. Look for some kind of tool to remotely open my ethernet port. Dorm B, room eight. 
that's it. And All right, that should do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Reboot seven. Look for some kind of that's it. And remember, if you mess up somewhere, just call Clyde and he'll have to take care of it. It's his job after all. Guess what? You got it? Hang on. Oh man, I could kiss you! And figuratively, that is. I am so gonna get back at Clyde now. What are those admin credentials, by the way? Not telling, buddy. Saving those for a rainy day. Huh. I suppose this nice floppy I prepared for you stays in my room then. Sure, then I'll just have to log back on and click that pretty little lock icon again. Now this is just emotional blackmail. Quid pro quo, Dave. Fine. I'll have it dropped off at your room. God damn, you're like a she Clyde. A Clydeette. Huh. That is the worst insult I have ever heard. Later, Dave. There was a floppy disk inside. It's labeled tools. Is that ball lightning? I'll print the whole picture for now, but there's probably more to find. Hmm, no, not quite yet. I think there's more to find in this picture. Unusual flower over there, though. Never seen anything like it. Maybe worth printing? shape has to be significant somehow. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's all there is to find in this picture. I don't want to print that part of the image. You've 
coverage the rain residents leave a message after the beep you're the only one i trust now just call me back as soon as you can Okay, Erica Wade, let's see if we can't motivate you to hear me out. I don't think I need to manipulate this particular voice recording. You've reached the rain residence. Leave a message after the beep. I don't think I need I don't think I need to manipulate this particular I should probably greet my intended recipient first. the hell? Calm down, Kathy. Think. Just think. It has to be some sick joke left in the program by Dave. Yeah, that must be it. He is one twisted fuck. I don't think I need to manipulate... I don't think I need...
I should let the recipient know who is speaking with them. Hello, Joseph, Mrs. Rain. It's me, Charles. I thought I'd give you a call. Erica just had her firstborn. Almost. Just a few more tweaks. That should work. I'll just reuse the same tape and place the modified message at the end. Hello, Erica. It's your father. Call Kathy Rain and give her what she wants. Bye. All right, the forged message should now be at the end of the original tape. I did that already. Hello, Erica. It's your father. Call Kathy Rain and give her what she wants. Bye. You've reached Erica Wade. Leave a message after the beep. Hi, Erica. This is Kathy Rain. I spoke to your father. He asked me to get in touch with you and said he would call ahead. You can reach me at 555-8352. Bye. Your move, Erica. Oh, hello there, Mildred. Hi yourself, Agatha. What? How'd you... Ugh, never mind. I know your social security number, too. Oh, God. Soon you'll start stealing my clothes and then walk around and then pretending to be me. Who says I haven't done that already? Okay, I admit, that's pretty funny. So, anyway, how did things go with Dave? Pretty good. I had to sabotage your computer. You had to what? Oh, chill out, It was just a tiny little thing. I just needed an excuse for the IT guy to come by so I could steal his password. Clyde? But he's so nice. Why do you want to steal his password? It's a long story. And then I used Mr. Wade's synthesized voice to craft this fake message, which I left on her answering machine. Now that's some out of the box thinking. Yep, just might be silly enough to work. Yeah, anyhow, feel free to keep using my computer. I need to do some homework anyway. Sounds good. I'm sure I found everything in the picture of those lights, but I have a nagging feeling that they're connected to something I found yesterday. <laughs>